It is another beautiful Friday night in downtown Sioux Falls, one that would generally bring out droves of people to the center of the city. But what kind of late night traffic are local bars and breweries seeing post those COVID-19 restrictions? We have the details in tonight's Your Money Matters. We've been slowly seeing an increase in volume uh, in our tap room here. Slow and steady seems to be a theme as each weekend more people venture out after COVID closures. Each weekend seems to be growing and growing and growing, um, but we're, we're still not back to uh, pre-COVID numbers yet. Remedy Brewing Company and others in East Bank are not only dealing with the impact of the pandemic, but also the 8th Street Bridge Project. The East Bank has really kind of been hit with a lot of construction this year. Definitely has impacted business for sure. Um, it's kind of our lifeline, 8th Street really is. With that being down, people really have to think and want to come down here rather than just happen to stumble upon us. But as the local brewery begins to bring back some special events, customers are returning and taking some extra precautions. Last weekend was the best we've had since we reopened. Prior to that, we were running around that 60 to 70 percent. People are still being very respectful and they are still practicing social distancing as much as they can, which is great. We've been at several places over the last couple of days. A couple of the places were packed. We were very surprised how full they were. Mike Hale and his wife are visiting Sioux Falls this week and like many people are excited to be able to enjoy some of their favorite local hangouts. You can see a big difference between some of the restaurants and bars here. We really appreciate the ones that are more uh, cautious with the opening with the gloves and the masks. That's what we're used to. There's a definitely increase increased volume downtown. Burnson downtown says they're seeing a lot more traffic and business along Phillips Avenue but are still working to keep their staff and customers safe. When we do hit that peak velocity on like a Friday, Saturday night, that we make sure that people are being mindful of spacing. We have rules posted where we kind of encourage people to keep that six feet distance. Both downtown breweries say their large patios have been a big help in reopening safely to keep their customers spread out while still giving them a chance to enjoy some of their favorite weekend stops.